Hey guys, welcome back to the number one YouTube channel in the entire world. For this video, everybody's in for a treat because in this video, we're gonna be covering Andre and Elizabeth. This is part two of our three part series on their entire relationship. Ah, oh, here we go again. And revealing Andre's deep, dark secrets. Now, I don't wanna pull a Sanders Kennedy, but I've been in close contact with the Moldovian Sheriff's Department, so make sure you stay until the end of this video because I'm gonna be revealing why Andre left and fled Moldova to go to Ireland, where he first met the love of his life, Elizabeth, and they could both be sugar babies and feed off of Elizabeth's dad's generosity. Oh, clap it up for these two losers, huh? I don't live under a rock like Patrick Stars. <laughs> So I know there's scammers out there, but have you guys ever scammed your family members? Huh? Anyone? Anyone? No? Nobody? Oh! You guys aren't loser lambs? Fuck this guy. Andre and Elizabeth recently had an interview. Why don't we take a look at it to see what they say? You know, I'm curious if they've done any reflecting. I'm curious if he's come to terms with the fact that he's a bum and she's enabling him to be a bum and actually leech off of her father's generosity. So let's look at the interview and see if they admit their wrongs. What are your thoughts on watching the season back so far? You don't know how things are until you like see it and you see how you're acting and there are some embarrassing moments, but then there's also moments where you're like, oh, I love you. It's weird. That's really weird, Elizabeth, because I watched your season and I've seen how you and Andre interact, and there has been one moment where I was like, oh, this is a cute couple. I don't think anyone's felt like you guys are cute individuals. I just think that you guys are kind of like a blah couple. You know what I mean? What do you make, Andre, of some viewers who say you have been very rude to Elizabeth? Uh, I... I don't uh, think that I'm rude. Like we're uh, loving each other, and uh, you know, like we get all of this, uh, you know, like we get disputes all the time. And uh, I think uh, I'm not rude at all. Okay, so Andre doesn't think he is rude because he is man of house, and even though he doesn't work and have job and does nothing to watch kid, he is uh, still man of the house. So he doesn't think he's rude. He doesn't care what other people think. Hey, buddy, if you don't care about what other people think, why do you delete comments on your Instagram? And I oh. Why do you let people's opinions get to you? Why do you delete comments? Why do you hide comments? I actually love to see that. Like, I love when people are like, I don't care what people think about me. And then the minute they get criticism, they delete those comments or they delete those opinions. It's like, you obviously care about criticism if you're not even willing to take it. I think that just your culture and where you're from, they're very blunt and they're very cutthroat and people may or may not be able to handle that. And it may come across as like super rude, but to me, I understand him where he's coming from and I know that it's not like a jab at me or intentionally being rude to me. I think that that's just his voice and his accent and like him being a man, I think you throw all that in together and then it's just like, it comes off as rude. And Here's the thing, Elizabeth, you can't excuse Andre's toxic behavior and abusive behavior and sweep it under the rug and then say stuff like, it's part of his culture, okay? It's part of the Moldovian culture. It's part of all of Eastern European culture. It's not. Sometimes you, can be very, very rude, but... You too, by the way. Majority of hey, Elizabeth, I don't think he's a macho man. I think Elizabeth goes for this Andre's a macho man persona because she wants to feel better about herself. Like, I think she compares herself to her sisters and their relationships. And I think that's kind of why she got suckered into having a kid with this guy, because they all had kids, they all had relationships. And she felt like she had to have a relationship to compete with her sisters because she's constantly chasing after her sisters and their approval. Here's the thing, Elizabeth, your guy's not a macho man. A macho man provides for his family. A macho man is a breadwinner, and not just that, but he also takes care of things at the household. He's not a lazy bum. That's what a macho man is, at least in my opinion. You can't take someone's just physical attributes and be like, oh, that's a macho man, especially when he sends his wife to ask his father-in-law for money, and it's not man enough to show up and ask himself to pay for the wedding. He sends his wife over, my daughter, to say, hey, can you pay for the wedding? That's... That's no way to go about it. That's how you know he's a beta. He has big beta energy. He has little pussy balls. You haven't married a macho man. You've married a beta. And everyone knows real macho men wear pink and drink kvass, dude. You mean your pink shirt? Faded salmon color? 
I'm so excited because I have something to show you guys. Yesterday I made a discovery because I'm an explorer like that Christopher Columbus and I found out that Andre and Elizabeth have a YouTube channel. I could have ignored this discovery, I could have swept it under the rug, but that's not what we're gonna do because how fun would it be if we reviewed Andre and Elizabeth's YouTube channel together as a family? Let's check out that YouTube channel. Okay, so Elizabeth and Andre's YouTube channel has 3.8 thousand subscribers and let's see what they got right now. So they started this January 31st, 2020. We are Andre and Elizabeth Kostravit. We have a beautiful one-year-old daughter named Eleanor. Wow, what a great name. And we are so thrilled to be able to share our life with you guys. This is going to be a variety channel with a mixture of videos. Subscribe to our channel to get weekly updates on what we're doing. Dude, Elizabeth and Andre post absolute bangers. There's this video that Elizabeth posted titled, Elizabeth Mops the Floors. For all the people that have never mopped floors before, man, what exciting content. A video of our favorite 90 Day Fiance couple mopping the floors. Well, Andre's on the couch eating potato chips because he's a bum. He would never mop a floor in his life. Guys, don't click out. This is very exciting stuff. She made an entire YouTube video about how she mops floors. I'm excited to see this mopping technique because it's not like any of us have ever mopped floors in our life, right? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing another vlog and I am going to show you how I mop the house. Can you imagine how boring her life must be if she uploads an entire video on teaching everyone how to mop floors? Okay, so this next part of her video, she has Andre walk inside and start some drama with her because he walked in with dirty feet and she just cleaned the floors and they still have to stick to like their little act of, of we're the couple that doesn't get along because that's how they're portrayed on the show and they're not really interesting as people. So they really have to play up this relationship drama to get views. What are you doing? I'm mopping. Oh my gosh, wow. I've seen a lot of comments saying Elizabeth used to be an actress. Everyone that says she used to be an actress, please shut the fuck up and get a brain. So a couple days ago, they posted a video shopping with us. Yeah, great. Love relationship shopping videos. I actually go on YouTube to watch couples shop at the grocery store. I don't know. Like, I just found it so quirky that they grocery shop and I grocery shop. And like, I, I, I'm a couple. Like, me and my fiance, we grocery shop too. But like, I enjoy watching other people grocery shop. Who watches this shit? Jesus, that is the most annoying intro ever. If I heard this intro, I would actually blow my brains out and click out of the video. Well, I wouldn't be able to click out because I'd be dead. Today, we're gonna go to Costco. We're gonna show you guys how we go grocery shopping. And I think you guys are gonna really like it. Okay, a little advice. First things first, she looks at the viewfinder, so that's like going like this and talking. Hey guys, so today, we're going grocery shopping. These people should not have YouTube channels because they're so boring and it takes them forever to get to the point. Here we go, we're on our way to Costco and we're gonna show you guys how we shop and the healthy items that we purchase. So we hope you guys enjoy this video and let's have some fun. I'm gonna deduct another point here because Elizabeth, your background music is too loud. It's the wrong song for the scene for what you're doing. It's just really distracting and really annoying. I'll be honest, Andre and Elizabeth's YouTube channel is terrible. I give it a one out of 10. It's just the videos are so boring and the topics are so boring. Now that being said, you can see from their videos that they're really new to being parents and they're also pretty stupid because basically what they have throughout their entire video, they have their little daughter touching everything in every store they're going into despite Florida being the hot spot for the coronavirus. They live in Tampa, Florida. I said that I wanted to buy some new pillows for our bed and he came across a chair. Boring! So call me crazy because I have a brain, but if me and B had a child and we lived in Florida, I would not want our kid going around touching every single thing in the store when there's a pandemic. You can also see Elizabeth and her lazy bum husband not wearing their mask properly, which is kind of inconsiderate for all the people that are trying to, you know, not get the coronavirus, but hey. Butter is made in Ireland. And it's, it's from Ireland. From grass-fed cows, and it's the best butter ever. Boring! Excuse me, ma'am. Where's your mask? Can I have your Costco card, please? I need your Costco card, please. Excuse me. Don't touch. 
Here's your mask. I need to see your Costco card. Wow, good to know you're making fun of this entire pandemic and everything. Funny that a mom can be this careless. Like, I'm not even a mother, but I'm twice the mother she'll ever be because I have a working brain. People like them are the reason why the coronavirus is hitting the US so hard, no cap. But hey, who am I to judge? I've only been social distancing, wearing masks in public, and you know, abiding by all the rules that we're supposed to be following, but there's still people throwing parties in LA and everybody doesn't take the coronavirus seriously. I just feel like for both people, there's not really much going up top here. And usually Elizabeth is the victim in the relationship, but she allows his behavior and she only has a job because of her daddy's generosity. So to be honest with you, I think they both suck. I think they're trying to be PC family vloggers. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of PC family vloggers. When I think PC family vloggers, I think of that Stoffer family that adopted that kid with Down syndrome to get more views on YouTube. I just hate to see family vloggers pretend like they're the perfect family when realistically they're probably the meanest people on the platform. Now that being said, since our videos are poo-poo caca, let's go back to 90 Fiance showing them because it's really entertaining. From where we left off on the last video, Andre told his parents that him and Elizabeth can't wait to stay with them in Moldova. We haven't talked about any of this stuff and you're telling your parents and you're making me like the bad guy in this situation. Why are you always just complaining? Come on, relax. This was news to us and it was also news to his wife Elizabeth because he didn't tell her about this before. She assumed he would get them a hotel or an Airbnb, but he was like, no, I want to stay with my mommy. I miss my mommy, even though I have a family and Elizabeth doesn't speak the language. Okay, we so never that's talked like about staying stuff. at your parents' house. You would think your duties are towards your wife and your kid and your new family that you're starting with this person, but he still seems to kind of be a little bit of a mama's boy. Elizabeth wants to stay with her family, but since Eleanor was born, my dad seen her once and my mother never seen her. So it's very important that Eleanor would spend time with uh, my family in Moldova. I have a solution for both of you idiots. Why don't you get your own place so you, Elizabeth, and the baby have your own space and like a safe space and then you can hang out with your families, like both sides of the families whenever you want. They're gonna be comfortable. It's perfectly fine very. It's perfectly safe. But they safe, don't know the no language. Worries. They've never been to that part of the world they before. They're gonna get the translator. And you know what, by saying this, Andre shows how grateful he is to the father that's paying for the entire wedding. Even though he's never been to Moldova before, even though he has nothing to do with that culture and that side of the world, he's still paying money for the wedding. Andre grew up in Moldova. The least he can do is have one of his friends, like give one of your friends 20 lev or whatever your currency is to go and hang out with the family or drive them, be their translator. Like that's the least you can do. I just, whatever. I just can't. Fine. I mean, I think it looks great, but whatever. That's a perfect dress, but she's got to feel comfortable in it too. Let's see the next one. Honestly, I'm not gonna play any more of these clips. It's boring. Elizabeth basically tries on dresses and her sister's like, oh my God, I love that. And then Elizabeth's like, I don't feel comfortable wearing something like this. And then her sister's like, oh, whatever, Elizabeth. Elizabeth says that her first wedding wasn't her dream wedding. So her second wedding, she wants it to be her dream wedding. She wants there to be snow falling and for her to come in a horse carriage like Cinderella. Weather forecast says there's about to be a transition in the video because they just touched down in Moldova. Moldova. Number one exporter of potassium. So today is our first day in Moldova and I'm excited that we're here. I'm, I'm really excited, but we're just really exhausted. Oh, this is so sweet. So Elizabeth and Andre's mom are spending some time in the kitchen, cooking for the family, cooking for the men. You know, they know their gender role really well, or at least that's what Andre thinks. So right now they're making a meal together for the whole family. Mom says, hey, Andre, you want to come here and help translate? He says, no, mom, you just talk to her. But hey guys, don't send any hate to Andre. He's busy doing nothing. You know, he really enjoys his me time. And when he does, doesn't get his me time, oh, you don't want to see him when he doesn't get his me time. Last time he didn't get his me time, he actually got in trouble and had to flee the country, allegedly. Okay, I'm not gonna make any digs at Andre's parents because his mom and his dad actually seem really nice. And you can see the dad playing with his grandchild. He's very happy. They're in a very good mood and just happy that they're there and they're able to spend time with their grandchild. That being said, I'm really surprised that you can have nice parents and produce someone like Andre that's very selfish and really lazy. Okay, so Elizabeth is trying to compliment Andre's mother and say, wow, do you do this every day? Like this big spread, hand cooked everything. I think she was really impressed by the mother's hard work in the kitchen. And the mother replies, yes, but I make it extra special and pretty when we have guests. And Andre twists this into like... This is how it's in, it's in Moldova. You work all the time and you move. Okay, so are you trying to say that I don't do that? 
oh, Elizabeth snaps and says, is that why you have a job? And then Andre smiles and laughs and says, do you want to insult me? And then Elizabeth says, you're the man of the household, right? And then Andre says, I am. So to Andre, he's the man of the household, despite not having a job, being a bum, not bringing anything to the table. I find that really funny. So Elizabeth is poking the bear saying, well, you're a hard worker. You're from Moldova, right? And then Andre says, you don't want to do this in front of my parents. You're lucky they don't understand us right now. This is how Moldavian women do it. They make breakfast, they clean the table, they clean the house, and plus they raise children, and plus they work. Libby got a little bit offended. Uh, I didn't mean no harm. I just told her how it is. Maybe she's going to take example for it. Hey, Andre, the men in Moldova work and provide for their families and have jobs and are real men, unlike you. That being said, it is a stupid comparison because this is from a lazy bum with no job that lives his life based on his father-in-law's good graces. And he wants to insult his wife in front of TLC, in front of the camera, when his wife isn't present and wants to say, I was just telling her that the women in Moldova work harder than the American women. <laughs> so Andre tells Elizabeth, this is not America. Over here you listen and you listen double. Which I don't even know what that means, but I think he's getting a false sense of I'm superior, I'm a man, I'm back home in my house in Moldova. You're not gonna embarrass me in front of my mommy and daddy. This is why I want you to come and live with my mom and dad so you can see how hard my mom works and how she doesn't say anything to my dad about how hard she works. And my mom's the best. Like, dude, is this guy 14 in his head? Now let's see what happens when Andre and Elizabeth go to meet up with Andre's friends at a bar. I have met Andre's friends before, and even though they know English pretty well, they still speak Romanian when they get together because they're just buddies and they, they get into that mindset and, um, it's, it's kind of hard to catch up sometimes. On the other side, I do see her point of feeling excluded because everyone knows Romanian and they're gonna speak Romanian and then you just kind of don't. That being said, I feel like it's natural for them to speak Romanian because these are all his friends that speak Romanian and grew up with him in Moldova. So it's normal for them to speak their native tongue when they all see each other. So to be honest, I think she's kind of bitching here. So are you going to include me in on your conversation tonight with your friends or? I'm just gonna sit there. Is this a new trend of yours to be a feminist or something? And which one? Do you want a podium to speak? <laughs> so Elizabeth brings up that, hey, are you gonna translate for me or am I gonna be included in the conversations or no? And then Andre basically calls her a feminist, which um, I think that's pretty funny. Like, it's just like, what? You know what I mean? No, I just feel like she's excluded. That doesn't make her a feminist and also, yeah, dude, equal rights are dope for men and women. Like, honestly, it's so out of left field for him to call her a feminist for wanting to be included on their conversations. Or she's basically asking, hey, will you like translate stuff for me so I can be in on the joke? And this is his response, which is kind of funny. One of my best friends lives in the Netherlands. He speaks like five languages. And he'll talk with his friends in other languages. And then like, if I miss out on the joke, he'll like tell me what it's done. I'm always like, dude, like, I don't care about Instagram. I'm on TikTok. Like, who cares? You know what I mean? Like you don't have to be in every single conversation. So I feel like Elizabeth kind of needs to take a step back here. And even though like, I don't like Andre, I don't think Andre's a cool dude. That being said, it is kind of like his time to see his old friends. So maybe she should just like lay back and just drink some cocktails and kick it. She's coming in there with some Karen energy. And I think her and her sisters are Karens. So they might need to ease up, you know? So Elizabeth says, I don't want it to be you and your friends talking and I can't interject. Why do you need to interject? Right now, if I'm Andre and you're in the car with me and you're talking about what I need to be able to interject and monitor what you're saying, that's kind of bad vibes when you're going to the bar. So Elizabeth says that she feels like since they touched down in Moldova, Andre has been acting like more of an alpha male. And I would just like to say to Elizabeth, he's always been this way, but you just wanted to have a baby and you were drawn to him physically and you have an inferiority complex with your sisters. And that's why you married this toxic guy and you steal money from your dad. So he's not acting like more of an alpha male. It just so happens that he's a really selfish person and you're a really selfish person and your dad has to pay for it. So like there's this news. You know what I mean? You didn't have to marry this guy. You chose to marry this guy. So at this point, I just feel like you're kind of bitching. And if you dug the hole, you should probably sleep in it. Elizabeth goes on to say that Andre is American now and he's not Moldovian and times have changed. Uh, you know what's funny about that, Elizabeth? He can still retain his culture. He can still be Moldovian and American. Like you don't have to just be American and have an American mindset, especially when you grew up in another place. 
So, what? You know what I mean? Like, she says really dumb shit. Andre's friends seem pretty nice and level-headed. His friend Marcel actually says that he's looking forward to seeing him and Elizabeth, and it was nice of him to include Elizabeth. He didn't just say Andre, so I think that his friends seem like pretty nice people. I I'm just saying, but you're working, so yeah, I'm not working. I understand. I'm into this. Amen, brother. I'll tell you what. Andre's friends actually told him that he should work, a man should work. Why is he not working? And you know what? Say whatever you want about Andre, but he does have real friends because real friends to your face will tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And you know what? His friends seem like real friends. Do you tell them that you still want to be the head of household even though you're not working? <laughs> okay, so here Elizabeth gets a little snippy, but his friends laugh it off and say, hey man, you're a housewife, right? And just like treat it like a joke. That's how they're treating it, which I thought was cool of them. They don't want to sour the mood. So everyone's just trying to have good vibes. And I don't know, Elizabeth's coming in there with a little hint of instigation. I don't think what she's doing is necessarily wrong because I get it. He's really annoying. I can only imagine if that was my partner. My partner's <laughs> So this would never be the case for me. That being said, I understand why Elizabeth's doing that, but I think this isn't the time or the place for that. I think this is the time and place where you all get together, laugh, have drinks, have good vibes. Maybe listen to some fucking chalga or some folk music. I don't know what they listen to over there, but you know, this is the time to dance, put on Wonderwall and start singing. Something is wrong in here. <laughs> I don't know how about you, but I like to work. Okay, so Andre's friend calls him out on his behavior and not working and that he's being a lazy bum. He also goes on to say, you know, the gender role situation where the man should work and the woman should be at the household. I don't agree with that shit. I think that women can work, men can work. I think both can do whatever the f they want. That being said, if you're gonna do something, you do it 100%. You don't be a lazy bum. I think the central frustration with Andre is all the shit we've been saying. You know, the problem is he doesn't work and he also sponges off the father-in-law and Elizabeth and he doesn't really do anything. So he's He's not giving it a hundred percent. He's not really hard working. That's the main issue I think everyone has with him. If he didn't do that and didn't treat her bad, I feel like no one would really like have a problem with the guy. But you okay, so yes, the burba de galitati. Once the galitati is just like I'm doing, I'm not sure. No, the galitati is like I'm putting aside grease to copy. The metre is like crazy. No, it's not good. I love this so much. Andre wants to preach about equality when he's getting roasted by his friends. Every other moment he's like, I'm the man of the house, you're just a woman. You work, you clean, you do everything. You don't work as hard as the women in Moldova. Now when he's on blast with his friends, he wants to be like, well, it's all equality, guys. You know, I don't have to work and she's working. This is how it is in America. No, it's not, dummy. I love how his friends like, then you should both work. Hell, hi, hey, how about you both get jobs and you stop being lazy? That's a real friend, man. So Andre says both places raise people differently and it doesn't matter what Elizabeth does, I'm always the one to be man of the house. That was a really good impression. Can I get an Oscar please? So Elizabeth tells the girls that her family thinks that Andre's lazy and he's basically a bum and mean and puts her down. And she's like, is this how the guys are in Moldova? And the ladies say yes. So. Yo, all the guys in Moldova, you've just been outed. Um, I'm gonna need you guys to pick it. No, I'm just kidding, guys. There's no way it's every single guy in Moldova. We don't like generalizations on this channel. That being said, culturally, if that is an issue, maybe we need to work harder. You know, let's pick it up. You know, let's go level up, level up, level up, level up. You know what I mean? Moldovan women compared to American women are very, very different. They aren't loud, they don't really speak their mind. Honestly, I'm kind of scared because I can bite my tongue, but I don't think that my family will. I'll be honest, I don't know if this is true or not. I highly doubt it just because all the Eastern European women I've met have been very outspoken, have no problem talking about their points or what they think. I don't really think that's true. It might be just the people you're hanging out with, Elizabeth. That would be the equivalent of me saying that I represent the opinion of every American dude, which is not the case. Like you can't expect two girls from a country to speak on behalf of every single woman in that country. Had a moment with the girls, it was nice. What'd you that Jen's gonna be here, and I know people aren't used to the type of person that she is. She might sleep in my basement if she offends somebody here. <laughs> okay, so like, he's putting a hit out on Jen. <laughs> So basically, if Jen comes and offends somebody, she's gonna get capped, dude. The mafiosos and all the friends of Andre's are just gonna bang, bang, dude. You're in the basement. You're over, Jen. 
That's a really funny thing to say, Andre. Hey bakers, welcome back to the British Baking Show. Right now we're gonna look at when Elizabeth and Andre go to look at wedding venues in Moldova. Like you're starting like me, I'm wearing one of my wrong foot. It's his OCD. I'm and thinking I'm like, of our daughter to No, this is an OCD that you're just being annoying. Well, they're off to a great start. They already got in a fight about whether or not they should lock the car with the daughter in the car with the grandpa in the car. So, you know, whether they should lock the car or not, that was their fight. And that's how they're going into the venue. We pull up to this venue and it's in a strip mall and it's a casino by night. Baby, I told you it's a option. You know, like it's just like yeah, but we're it's not a very good option. Bună ziua. Bună ziua. Bine ați venit, Elizabeth. I bet this venue costs a couple thousand bucks and Andre's gonna be like, It's fifty thousand dollars for this venue. <laughs> He's pocketing the money for the wedding. A hundred percent. Preconizat. Maximum 60. 60. Deci această sală este perfectă pentru dumneavoastră. Uh -huh. Like we have 60, so it's perfect for us. Yeah. Okay, cool. Great. So Elizabeth says this venue is tacky, and I agree. It looks tacky as shit. It looks like uh, I wouldn't even have a kid's birthday party here. I feel like you're in Moldova. It's surrounded by mountains. There's nature. Why don't you have a wedding outside? Why don't you have an outside venue, fairy lights? I could make a better venue than this, spending like, what, $500 maybe? You know what? That's the interior designer coming out of me. Let's just go back into the video. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so when Andre asks about the food, the woman says, uh, we don't have the chefs here right now, but I can show you pictures of the food. And then Elizabeth says, okay, but she's not impressed by that. I think she wants like a live tasting, which I don't really know if they do that at wedding venues because I haven't been to that many weddings. I've been to like two and like I was drunk the entire time. So I don't know, do you guys like taste food? Is that normal at a wedding? Elizabeth is primarily concerned on whether or not her family will like the food. I mean, I think that's only fair because the dad's the one paying for the wedding. But that being said, I feel like why wouldn't they like the food? It's all kind of the similar food, like all of the Balkans and then on top, I feel like similar recipes, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but is there like a Shopska Salata? Is there like kebab? Is there like uh, moussaka? Is it all the similar dishes? I don't know, I'm not familiar with their cuisine, but I'm assuming all of Eastern Europe has similar dishes. I feel like you're gonna like the food. The food's really good here. So I saw a comment on my last video. One of the wet socks said that Elizabeth has a stinky face and she looks like she's constantly smelling a fart. And I've never agreed with something so much in my entire life. She constantly has this fart smelling face. In response to the questions about the food, Andre pokes fun at Elizabeth and says, there's McDonald's across the street so they can enjoy the McDonald's. I thought this was kind of funny, but you know what? It is kind of addicting to say in this situation. How dare you laugh at that joke? They don't like something that's on the table. Would they be able to like make something specific of their yeah, request? Yeah, there's McDonald's like across the street. What a moron. Be respect. Elizabeth says, what if my family wants a cheeseburger or fried chicken? And Andre laughs and says, fried chicken? Seriously? I, uh, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, I agree with Andre here. What wedding have you been to that has had fried chicken? I haven't been to a wedding with fried chicken. When I think wedding, I think, I don't know, crab cakes, maybe. Now, I love fried chicken. It's delicious. Is it wedding food? Eh, I don't think so. Andre says, who eats fried chicken at a wedding? And Elizabeth responds, Americans do. So, I've been, I've been to a couple weddings, not one had fried chicken. Why is everybody just lumping in America, Moldova? Why is everyone on this show just lumping everybody from one place and say, we all act the same, we all like fried chicken? What, what happened to individuality, okay? That's the real crime in society today. Can't we just be individuals? But, okay, so she said that she had uh, guests from America and we liked it. Really? I mean, everybody's different, but I, I know for sure your families are very special people making sure that they're comfortable. Blah, 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 blah. Elizabeth's like, this is my family gonna like the food. Will they like Eastern Europe? Blah, 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 blah. That's basically what happens. And then what happens next is they get in a fight in the park. To actually taste the food and make sure that it's good and it's up to par for my family's standards and yeah. make sure that they like it. I mean, I, I can't bring my family here Your and family. have them. Don't interrupt me. And then Andre says, you shut the fuck up. Oh, you don't annoy me. Andre went from zero to a hundred here really quick. And I'm happy the cameras were there. Otherwise, Elizabeth might be waking up in the basement. In TLC's latest episode of A Sweet Life of Elizabeth and Andre, they sit down with the whole family to discuss the lovely couple and how Andre doesn't work. As I understood, he doesn't like so often to work. That is, that is a problem when you're trying to raise kids. It's because like I have a family and somebody needs to stay at home. Is that normal here in Moldova? Is that the way you guys do it over here? For us, it's not normal. 
<laughs> I know, right? That's what I said. Dre's family goes on to ask, if he's struggling to find a job, why don't you help him find a job in the United States? To which Elizabeth's father replies, I Jobs? offered him a job and, and he you denied him. Down. Why? 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 Because he thought that I would control him and he would be under my thumb. It was his pride. And I told him that when we, when we met. Sit on the couch and play video games a lot easier. Ooh, Elizabeth's brother, AKA Kenny fucking Powers, hit Andre with the roast from downtown. Well, now we know where Andre spends most of his time. It's playing video games on the couch and not even streaming, not making money from it, just sitting there playing video games, wasting time, not watching the kids, maybe mounting one TV and moving one piece of furniture. Why are you getting married for a second time? If you, I'm totally you fine don't. not getting married a second time. <laughs> After the dad and brother flew out there and they probably made the deposit on the venue and everything, and she says this, that's hilarious, man. Way to waste more of your dad's money. Okay, guys, in summary, Andre and Elizabeth, I give you guys a one out of 10 rating as a couple. I think you need to stop taking money from your father-in-law. And in the next part of this series, Shit really hits the fan, guys. We're gonna go through receipts. We're gonna go through documents. We're gonna talk to the Moldovian Police Department, AKA Sanders Kennedy, AKA. <laughs> Next time on your Wet Sox channel, we're gonna be contacting the Moldovian Sheriff's Department. We're gonna get to the bottom of this Andre situation. All right, I had fun filming this video, guys. Comment below, subscribe. Lizzie Brand, Lizzie Brand. Follow me on Twitch and on Instagram right now. <laughs>